start. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. In the last episode, we went off and had some crazy confrontations, uh, leading to all of a sudden meeting Show Minazuki, as he said, and all of a sudden meeting our uh, favorite character, Adachi san. But, uh, Today's episode, we are not continuing that off because it won't let us. We are going to be going straight into Yukiko. Least favorite character, you. No, <laughs> I don't. I don't. My preferences and characters is just like I find Yukiko boring. Even though people can't say she does have an emotion, like she's not that interesting to me. I don't know. My cell phone remains unresponsive from the uh, shopping district is still enveloped, and the shopping district is still enveloped in fog, red fog. I'm so bad at reading. But General Teddy said on the Midnight Channel is true. On a hunch that this is a continuation of the last time, I dashed out of the inn and ran into the hopping, shopping district. Hopping district? There's a district for that? <laughs> what I saw there were two kanji -kuns. I dropped my gaze inside before looking back at the two kanji -kuns. Who seemed to have a silent stare down? If it looks what could kill. Hey, Kanji kun. What's up, Yukiko Senpai? What's up, Yukiko oh, Senpai? Oh fuck! <laughs> I can't help but sigh again as to the two kanji spawning in stereo. Uh, if you guys want to speak to that for wallpaper, two kanji's fighting over Yukiko as it would seem. Lol. Uh. I think there is one. I think one of them is a fake, but they act so much in unison that I can't tell them apart. What's with this sort of thing? What is this sort of thing called again? Synchronized swimming? Look, you bastard! Don't go bothering Yukiko Senpai. What? You're the one bothering her, you imposter! What was that? <laughs> I'm the real one. Bullshit! You don't look anything like me. Damn it! What the fuck? The two kanji couldn't start squabbling, Sai. Kanji kun is the same in any situation. Actually, these two look like they're getting along pretty well. I'm starting to think that I could just leave them here. You little. <laughs> try this, goddammit! Tell me exactly how old I was when I last went to bed. Oh, it was when you were in second grade, right? What? Why do you know that? Why do you know that? Hmm? Your mother told me once. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I don't have any more time to waste. Oh, I know. What if we say the one who can summon his persona is the real one? True. But that's impossible. It's not like we're inside the TV right now. Ha! You're giving up before even trying? You dare call yourself the real me? When you put your guts into it, summoning a persona is no big deal at all. Ah, persona! Oh, God, yeah. Oh, but then again, what? how would the real Kanji know that he could summon his persona in the Seriously? real world? How's that, Yukiko Senpai? Now you know I'm the real one. Oh no, you don't, you bastard! If you can do it, so can I! Come on out! Persona! Oh yeah, Takami Kazuchi. Or as most oh, of us call him, Takami can fuck you. Hey, what are you copying me for, damn it? What? You're the one copying me! Sorry, I did that just to check something. Uh just to make sure the buns are all working. And we're back to square one. But if Ganji can manage to summon his persona, does that mean I can use mine? Would just defeating both of them solve the problem? That sounds like a great idea. Yuki Cha! That Teddy. Hmm? The voice. It did. This room? I know, I'll clean it up in a second. I know, I know. I know, I'll clean it up. No, I don't think so. Thank you. Because I want to Okay, drink sorry. It. If anything, there should be in the fridge. Please close the door. Damn. <sighs> when I look towards the fog, when the familiar voice comes from a familiar looking road, round shadow is uh, looking familiar looking around shadows approaching me. Could this be a shadow? Persona! I wonder if it's the, even the real Teddy. He seems exhausted, but this is indeed Teddy, though I can't tell if he's the real one or not. Yuki-chan, you were thinking I might be an imposter, were you? Hmm? Well, maybe a little. So me? Just take a wow. look at my fur. It's apparent that I'm the real Teddy. See? 
Teddy goes from staggering around to leaping at me with open arms. I swiftly move out of the way. Wow. Why can't no one be nice to that fucker for once? I mean, come on, he's not that bad. Teddy ends up embracing the ground with this odd groan. I wonder if that was a bit mean. So cruel. Um, I mean, I can't tell if you're the real one or not. I keep telling you I am. I just beat the fake me a minute ago. I want to believe you, but I'm already having a hard time telling which of these two is which. True. You just need to use the power of love to tell them apart. Huh? You can tell the difference? Of course I can! My love for you would never, ever be fooled by a fake! Hmm, then can I leave this to you? Well... Uh -huh. Leave what to me? Ted, perfect timing! You know I'm the real one, right? <laughs> ah! A double serving of kanji? So these were the two things I was sensing near Yuki-chan! Mm -hmm. That's why I'll leave it to your love to tell them apart. Impossible! I'm completely, totally vetoing this idea! I mean, there's no love in Wow. The hell did you just say? You should be able to at least tell the difference, damn it! Ah! Both of those sound like things Kanji would say! So that's the limit of your love for kanji -kun. I don't think Tanya really um, likes Kanji. Did we just say that they're both fake? That's what it comes down to in the end, right? What? Why are you listening to him? Would that be bad? Of course it would! Assuming that from the start, it's pretty messed up. Oh, I know. Could you use your nose to figure this out, Teddy? I wish I could, but this red fog is getting in the way. My nose is no use Nose right is now. no use. Wow. Wait, does that mean you're a fake after all? Not at all! There's a good, complicated reason for it! True. Hey, Ted, just do something and tell us apart, damn it! Yeah, you moron, I'm disappointed in you. Ah, two kanjis are worse than one. How okay, cute I need to stay concentrate and got two. God damn it, Teddy. Maybe you need a freaking nasal up. drop, dude. See a what? doctor. Even Teddy can't tell them apart. We'll never make any progress at this rate. What else could we try? Jeez, what a useless bear. You say that, but I bet you're actually pretty relieved. What did you say? You're the one breathing easier, asshole. What was that? I'll take your punk ass down! Oh, God. <clears throat> As they continue their endless squabbling, squabbler, squabbling, I think desperately for a plan. As soon as I get an idea, I whisper to Teddy, Mm-hmm. This might work. Ooh, good idea, Yuki-chan. Well then, let's bring it on! People of Inaba, welcome! It's time for Who's the Best Inaba Oh Resident? boy. This sounds dumb. Huh? What the? Question number one. How many stories is Yasogami High School's classroom? Uh, building? three. We're really doing this? It's three stories. Just, you bastard, it was my turn to answer. Correct. Now, on to question number two. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day at the supermarket Tunas. How many stories? Two. Do you have? Two stories. Okay, I know these. Correct. I played now, Persona 4 Golden. Number three. From Shiroku store, how many buildings away? Oh, is what the, the fuck? Shiroku store. Uh, there's one. Uh. Two, three. Uh, um, it's, uh. Uh, four four bullshit! Correct! Number four! Take the sum of the numbers in the answer so far. Multiply by eight and divide Holy by shit! Eight. Yukiko, what, what are we doing here? Okay, uh... Give me a second, I'll figure it out. Okay, so... First one was two story... Uh... Two story... Three stories, two stories, that's five. Plus... Uh... Plus four buildings. Uh, that's nine. Nine times eight is eighty-one. I think. No. Let me. God damn it. Uh. Nine times eight divided by that's uh, seventy-two divided by three is twenty-four. I guess. Huh? Um. Uh. Wait. What does that have to do with being an Inaba resident? Too easy. It's twenty-four. Do it. Which means uh. Correct. 
You're definitely not the real Teddy then. Or not the real Kanji. You're the culprit! <laughs> I had to do that. Look at that shit. You're the culprit! Teddy and I seem point at the Kanji can who answered correctly with a flourish. Thank goodness, surprising as it seemed, the plan worked. I really didn't think it would be this easy. What? How do you figure? I was right! You take 3 plus 2 plus 4, multiply that by 8, and divide by 3, and that's 24! Don't get it. There's no way Kanji could do math like that. Heck, he can hardly do basic arithmetic. Therefore, you're the fake. He was even dumber than I wow. imagined. He's so stupid that I ended up playing around. Huh? You picking a fight with me? Um, I'm sorry for treating you like an idiot, Kanji-kun, but it was all I could come up with, and the plan did confirm you're the real one, so... I'm glad we figured it out, real Kanji-kun. Yeah, but come on, what kind of way was that to tell us apart? Don't worry, no one would be shocked at this True. Point. You making fun of me or trying to cheer me up? How long are you gonna keep this up, dammit? Just because my cover's been blown doesn't mean that's the end. It's time for the real reason I'm here! Right. Oh god. Bring on the ring! Gay! <gasps> the fucking gayest character in the whole game. Gay Kanji Kun mode activate, or Shadow Kanji. As soon as the fake Kanji cries out, four red pillars fall around us. They slam into the ground with a heavy sound and give us off a dull light like a signal uh, if in this fog covered town. At the same time, the fake Kanji Kun who called down the pillars suddenly started gyrating for some reason. The way he's talking is that. Ah, this again? Kanji seems dangerous! Now, let's get this full-on muscle-on-muscle battle going! I can't wait to get you in a hole. Oh, God. This bastard again. A full-on battle, huh? Sorry, I was about to say, fine, you're on. Can we just leave these two here? Yuki-chan, your inner thoughts are leaking out. Oh? I'm totally okay with me, you know. You could just stay here. But you can't go on unless you beat me or off. Oh, God. Well, that be trouble for you. Huh? Is that true, Teddy? It seems like it. When those red pillars glow, it makes these invisible walls, just like the last P1 Grand Prix. That's right! Until someone takes me to heaven, none of you are going anywhere. I'll do it then. I need a refresher. Whoa, Do I get to choose IB? That's my I'm gonna end up being Yukiko I anyway, but... Crap. I'm gonna pass! It's too early for me to step into that world! Oh, damn it, Teddy! I told you that's not how I am! <laughs> Jeez. Then let's decide with rock, paper, scissors. That's fair, right? Yeah, I thought so. I'll be Yukiko. I'd rather be Yukiko since it's, uh... Yukiko's part of the story anyways. Like, I'm pretty sure people just play as their most favorite characters, or like their best characters, but I want to play through the story as uh, it seems like it's supposed to be intended, at least. It seems like Yukio is one that was the one supposed to fight that, even though you'd imagine Kanji would want to. Not to mention, you'd probably never pick Yukiko to fight against Kanji, because the idea of the fact is just ridiculous. Fighting freaking someone like Kanji is like a death sentence. Okay. Oh god. Oh, you die! Bitch! Fury section! Oh. I was getting cocky there. I was getting cocky there. No. 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 What other things do I have other than Augie Oh, nothing that I can use. So good. I know I can move it around, I think, but I don't know. Have, I don't have full control over it yet. I think I have to do the A version instead of the X version. Or B version, I mean. I don't know what button I pressed to do that. Wasn't really paying attention, nor did I really care. Good. I'm totally satisfied with this amazing session. Cause it's too late now. You've totally fallen for our plan! 
Oh boy. When the fake kanji words uh, end, a cracking sound echoes and the red pillars shatter. And then goes Kanji-kun. As the red fog suddenly thickens, the fake Kanji-kun began, like, began to melt like a chocolate pot, pot over a flame. Whoa, what the hell? No way! Kanji could melt it! Uh, Yukiko-senpai, that's the Yeah, man, come on. We watch the presence of the fake Kanji-kun completely melt in what looks like golden powder comes flying out of the puddle. The powder simmers a bit before it mixes with, their, uh, with the fog and vanishes into the sky. Wait, does this mean that wasn't my shadow? I seriously thought that part of me was coming back for more. Oh, no. General Teddy made that fake by kneading up a chunk of a shadow. Seriously? Then all we had to do from the start was beat the crap out of it. That's not my fault. You two were the ones getting all up in each other's faces. True. Hey, Teddy. Could that General Teddy be the culprit after all? Wouldn't that make him the one behind Labrys' problems, too? Um, I don't really know about that. Who is that General Teddy, anyway? All I know is that he's an imposter of mine. Huh? If you don't know, then there's no way we'd know. Mm -hmm. If he can do this to our town, then he's not an ordinary person. You got that right. Didn't they say he brainwashed the hijackers when Labrys got kidnapped? Indeed, for example, even if the culprit happens to be a persona user like us, covering the whole town in red fog and creating fake us, fakes of us, from shadows is beyond what normal people can do. I'm sure there must be something bigger, uh, be something bigger lurking behind this case. And that's not all. There's one other thing I noticed. It happened to me too, but when Yuki-chan and Kanji were fighting the fakes, tons of these shiny things were flying out. What do you mean, shiny things? I know. That's what we saw when the fake kanji kun was melting too, right? Yeah. Yep. The, you got it. The sparkly that shit that flew out when, out when we, we destroyed the shadows. What could it be? Hmm. Good question. Also, how should I put this? It seems like hmm. fighting in this fog is tiring everyone yeah, out. Yeah, people have been saying that too. Yosuke said that before as well in episode 4. Huh. Huh? Yeah. Now that you mention it, it's like when we would go into the TV world without tests. Why don't glasses. you wear the glasses then? Huh? That reminds me, we haven't tested out the glasses. If you need them, I have some right here. No, that's okay. It's true that I can't see very far, but I can still see where I'm going. Is that not smart? That's how they do it. They're, 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 it's subliminal, it's sub, subliminal messaging to buy the glasses packs in the game. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I did buy the glasses pack, but not for this Xbox. Uh, I had bought it for Rashomon's Xbox. Well, we, we bought it together. We paid, uh, for all the glasses pack, for the color, for the full glasses pack, full color pack. We, uh, got Adachi and Marie free. We got Adachi as a navigator. We got Nanako free as a navigator because we have her in Persona 4 Arena. And we also are getting Margaret because today... Uh, this episode is not coming out on this October 7th, of course, but October 7th, um, I'm recording this, uh, which is the day that Margaret actually releases for $5, which we, I, uh, have messaged or shot Rashomon to buy, so we can play as her, and I want to see how OP she is, because she's got, like, 8% of cards, it's gonna be crazy shit. And the exhaustion comes more when the fighting ends, not during the battle. So, what does that mean? When those shiny things come out after a fight, we get really tired? Jeez, you really are stupid, aren't you, Kanji? The shiny things and getting tired are two separate I things. I know about that. So what then? This is all because you suck at explaining shit. Teddy and Kanji can begin their usual squabbling. They really are good friends, aren't they? But something Kanji could say catches my attention. I start to con conjecture a few things. Kanji kun and conjecturing. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, uh, there's no time for this. Uh, no, but uh, no, there's no time for this. Now's not the time for this. Hold on a second. Oh, no, she's seeing this. Sorry, my phone's going off. Super popular. Well, it's not even people, it's my mother asking if I want food. Right now, my stomach hurts. I'm really hungry. Has Yuki chan lost it? You're right, sir. 
sorry. This is nothing. <laughs> Man, I think Yuki goes fucking crazy. Noah, hey, hang in there. I can't crack up now. I, have to, I take a deep breath before looking back to Teddy and Kanji kun uh, Um, I was thinking that Kanji kun might have been right just now. What? What'd I say? I know, I know, I remember. He said that when the shiny things come out, you get Yeah, time. that's what he said. Um. Right. I thought that actually could be the case. Hmm. Huh. I don't really get it. What do you mean? Well, could it be that that's what the culprit is really after? He's making us fight, getting those shiny things to come out, and... Uh, uh, what would he want with them? No! You totally had us going, Yuki-chan! So, you didn't figure out the important part? Uh... Is his goal just to make us tired? Maybe. Because in reality, if we're tired, then how are we supposed to fight back, right? What if he's trying to get us really tired from fighting all the shadows? And maybe after fighting the shadows, maybe they emit like some kind of power, and that power he's gaining. And maybe... I'm trying to think, because it kind of makes sense. Like, if you think about it like this, like, what if uh, fighting the, the shadows or having the shadows be destroyed, giving them experience on fighting the shadows? Maybe that, like, that experience goes off into the main enemy, I guess. Maybe Shomizuki or Adachi and giving them power. And since we get super tired after it, we won't be able to fight back, even though they'll all have all this energy and experience already. Right? It makes kind of, it sounds kind of makes sense. But uh, we're going to have to see. I wish I could concentrate and think, but this fog is just so... <laughs> ah, gross, Ted! Yuck. Sorry, it's just that this red fog keeps violently irritating my nose. Oh! Huh? What is it? I did notice something about those shiny thingies. Really? What? Mm-hmm. Those shiny thingies have all been flying towards Sensei in your school on the hill. When I fought General Teddy earlier, he told me to head to the school, too. Something smells fishy about that place. So what's the deal? If you knew something, why didn't you spit it out before? Well, let's go there. If the others noticed it too, I'm sure they're on their way already. Teddy, can you lead the way? Leave it to me! You two, follow me! Blair Chu! Yeah, that sucks. Getting sick in like a... In a situation like this, right? It fucking sucks. As Teddy tries to lead the way, he gives an especially loud sneeze. Should we really be following him? But we have to trust him for now. He did find kanji -kun and me, after all. I think... I let Teddy uh, take the lead, uh, sneezing like a foghorn all the way as we all run towards the Asagami High. Calling it right now to be continued. Yeah, oh, okay. Saw it coming a mile away. Damn, man. Shit's just getting even crazier in Yasogami High. Oh, we're gonna play as Naoto again. Naoto's story continues. Oh, so does Rise. Man. Oh, damn it! I wanna unlock the main story! I wanna fucking play and see why Dachi's here! Don't do this to me, game! Oh my god. Okay, fine. Alright. So, in the next episode, I think we'll do. Maybe we'll do Rise. Because it seems like Rise's won't take too long. I mean, she's only got three cards, right? Or, like, three things. So I'm assuming this is going to be a story, battle, and story, right? So this will be story, 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 battle, story. Or something. Because, or maybe story, 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 battle, story, 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 right? It's three, three, and then one in the middle. Uh, so, in the next episode, we're going to continue with uh, Naoto, and then in the next, after that, we'll be doing, or no, in the next episode, we're going to do Rise. And if I feel that that was too short of an episode, we'll continue on to Naoto. Uh, because it seems like Naoto is going to be a long one. But uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Gotham Griffin B. I'll see you guys next time.